A couple of recent acts of vandalism in Cary and Moore County are raising awareness about anti-Semitism throughout the state of North Carolina. WXI 12's Joshua Davis spoke with Jewish leaders in Greensboro and has our report. The rabbi of Temple Emanuel says resilience is part of the Jewish experience and hope is what allows people to keep going. When we light our Hanukkah candles, we do it to bring more light to the world, but we also remember that message of freedom. Last week, the FBI released hate crime statistics data for 2021. It shows last year there were 1,013 incidents based on religion, with 396 incidents being anti-Semitic, the lowest it's been in a decade. But Rabbi Andy Karen of Temple Emanuel in Greensboro says there's still work to be done in addressing hate. I just need to remind uh, those in our area that it was just a year ago that there were anti-Semitic leaflets that were distributed on uh, driveways here in the Greensboro area. And Rabbi Eliezer Snyderman believes recent anti-Semitic incidents are symptoms of current political conversation and social media platforms allowing people to build followings based on hateful ideas. You're amplifying the message of anti-Semitism and that's what the, uh, you know, people that that hate, that's what they want. They want their message to be amplified. He says Jewish communities in the triad aren't alone and are supported by the people around them. Um, when you have connections, then then anti-Semitism and racism and these type of things just don't arise because you feel a connection to the people around you. Rabbi Karen says in light of recent events, he's reached out to other faith-based organizations in Greensboro and has received encouragement they'll stand together against anti-Semitism. To get these statements from our neighbors, from our friends, from people that we've worked closely with, from people that we've stood together with on so many other issues has been something that's brought much more light to this community and to Jews in our entire area. And he says he still has hope. We as a people um, could have given up hope. Uh, it could have happened in Egypt. It could have happened in a number of other places. And yet we don't. I think that not only do we have hope and faith in God, but we also have hope and faith in humanity. Rabbi Karen says a great way to be an ally is if you see something to say something. And he says they're thankful so many people in Greensboro are standing with them against hate. In Greensboro, Joshua Davis, WXII 12 News.